Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of measuring angles. This is standard 4.7c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 10 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So, we simply need to find the angle that does not appear to have a measure of 23 degrees. So, let's make sure we understand our three types of angles. We've got acute angles, we've got right angles, we have obtuse angles. And so, acute angles, well, first let's start with our right angles. They're 90 degrees, they're square corners right there. So acute is anything that is going to be less than 90 degrees. So it's going to be something that kind of looks like that. And we're going to be looking at acute angles because 23 is definitely less than 90. If we ever get an obtuse angle, now that's going to be larger than 90. So that's going to be like a big, huge angle, something like that. So we're looking for something that does not. So three of these do have a measure of 23 degrees. They all look acute. I don't see anything that looks like it's larger than 90. So we're just gonna have to look at all of the measurements here. So let's start with F. F at least starts with a zero. So we can at least start with there. So we've got a zero here. And we're gonna use the inside because the inside is zero. And so we've got 0, 10, 20, and then it looks like it's just a little bit past 20. Like that right there, that hash mark is 25. So it's between 0 and 20, uh, 20 and 25, and it looks like that probably is 23 degrees because it's right there between 20 and uh, 25. If we wanted to measure the outside, we really could. That one, that line right there is between like on the outside right here is 155, that's 160, so that's like 157, and then the line at the bottom is 180. But either way, if you if you do it that way, you're still going to get that same answer of about. Let's see. Let's see, let's make sure we borrow correctly. That's 23. So F looks like it's 23. So that gives us an eyeball as to how far apart that should be. So we don't want to choose F. We're looking for the one that is not 23. So G is a little bit trickier because it doesn't start at a zero, but let's start with the outside right here. So I've got a 70. I'm going to take that 70 and it goes to 80, 90, and then a little bit past 90. So between 90 and right there is 95. So let's just call that 93. And yeah, that looks like another 23 degree angle. Uh, if we wanted to go on the inside, we'd be 70, 80, right between 85 and 90. So that'd be about 87. And that would go up to that 110 on the inside. So you can measure on the inside or the outside, but either way, you're going to get that same answer of 23. So it's not F, it's not G. And let's see what the next one looks like. H looks like it might be a little bit bigger, but this is where we don't use our eyes. We actually measure. This is trickier because it's right there on 95. So we'll look at the outside here. So we've got 95. And I've got 100, 110, 120, right between 120 and 125. So I'm going to call it 123. And so that's going to be eight, ooh, 28 degrees. So it looks like it's a little bit bigger than it needs to be. 28, let's look at the inside. That's gonna be 50 and 60, so that's gonna be 58 up to about 85. And yeah, that looks like that's going to be 27, 28. So that looks like it's too big. Let's check this one right here. We've got 75, and that looks just a little bit past 50, maybe 52. So that looks like 23. All right, so J looks good. So our answer here is H.